Good evening, everybody. Let's hit the hardwood. It's the Albia girls and EBF. Albia in blue. Brooke Bettis will miss, but Katie Dyson cleans up the mess underneath. Albia control the paint. Nice effort by Bettis underneath. Let's head to the other end. Emma Tanner gets to EBF. Would win it by... Oh, they'd win it 43 to 31. I can't do the math. In other girls' games, it's Brashear and Skyler County. Brashear in white. Skyler Hausman hits the baseline jumper. Both teams shot well. Kaylee Sessions gets the bounce and the basket. Nice transition basketball by the Rams. Skyler County would go on to win it big, 62 to 34. Right after the girls' games, the same school's boys battled each other. Skyler County in maroon. It's Lane Gray with the steal, and number 22 would get it back for the easy basket. Brashear, they came to play. Sam Smith scores in the paint for the home team. Speaking about great one-on-one -on -one moves, it's Brandon Webker. Wow. Skyler County wins it 46-41. Next up, it's the EBF boys and Albia. EBF in white. You always have to watch number 50, Christian Bambrook. Nice rebound and basket. The big fella can also shoot the mid-range jumper. That's a lost art. Trevor Leffler gets two more for the Rockets. Albia, though, would counter with Blake Bayer. He shoots the pill. We don't have a final in that game. There will be a big basketball doubleheader at Kirksville tomorrow afternoon. Chillicothe comes to town. There will be two JV games. They start at 1 after that. The varsity girls game should start at around 315. After that, the Tiger boys hit the hardwood. As far as progress is concerned, is this where Coach Tyler Martin thought his team would be this time of the year? We're close. I, I, I think we, we early on we, we definitely were. Um, we, we've probably taken a step back here of late. Um, just as far as the, the focus on the little things, we kind of got away from those. In college basketball, Indian Hills continues its Arizona road trip tomorrow night in May. So the Warriors played like Warriors last night as they defeated South Mountain 120-69. They lost their first game of the trip, but they looked a lot better last night. The Truman State men travel to St. Louis tomorrow to face Lindenwood. The Bulldogs looked good last night as they demolished Lincoln 84-64. While some teams suffer a drop-off on the road, this year's squad has embraced it. So our road games, uh, I think our focus has been good. I think the time that we have with our uh, our guys, you know, m m control more of their schedule on road games uh, is m b more beneficial to us as a coaching staff. After a slow start last night, the Truman State women's team stopped Lincoln 73-53. But tomorrow when they face Lindenwood, they will be without two key players, Nicole Glore and Megan Sharp. Sharp suffered a concussion in last night's game while Glore's happened earlier in the week. What happened in practice is one of those deals where we didn't really know it till a couple hours before the game today. It's, uh, you know, we, we get after it pretty well in practice, very intense, and uh, she got knocked in the head, and, and uh, it's going to be a day-to-day -day issue for her.